Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, now I have to keep the noise down because our bedroom is directly above the kitchen uh, and Hannah is still asleep. The time is currently uh, 7 minutes to 8. Now I got up at 7 o'clock this morning, I had a little bit of a lie in because it is uh, the weekend. I'm about to go out now on a 25 minute uh, run working aerobically so got my watch on to track my heart rate uh, make sure I'm not running too fast obviously stay in that uh, aerobic heart rate uh, zone as you would have seen I've had a black coffee that's all I've had so far to just help the get a little bit of uh, a bowel movement uh, nice and early because there's nothing worse than going on a run uh, and then needing a shit halfway through so I'm going to take you guys through a full day of eating today and training. So I've got a run this morning and head to the gym later and hit up a chest, shoulders and tricep workout, uh, which I will record for you. Uh, so it's time to go and get this run done uh, and I'll pick up in a sec when I have my first meal. Run all done, great way to start your morning off. Working at about 140 uh, heart rate, working aerobically, get a nice sweat on and it is absolutely freezing outside. Bit of ice on the windscreen. I cannot wait for summer now. But time to go and get some food, I'm starving. Post run nutrition, my first meal of the day. She made it too thick, unfortunately. I put it in the microwave for too long, but it is some pro so protein oats. We have got uh, 80 grams of oats, 200 milliliters of just skim milk, uh, 50 grams of the golden syrup whey protein. Uh, it's actually the pancake mix because my other whey protein, as mentioned previously, is disgusting. So I've got that in there. Uh, 22 grams of Biscoff spread, 20 grams of peanut butter. So it's got a good amount of carbs, fats and proteins. Obviously I've just gone on a run so I need all of those macronutrients. Yeah, so that meal comes to 814 calories. Um, I'm going to be aiming for around 3,000 calories today just because I've obviously had the run this morning and later on this evening I'm going to the gym so I need more calories than usual. I'm starving, going to get this down me and do a little bit of online programming for my clients so I will pick up in a sec. A quick cuppa. Uh, in between doing some chores. It's been about an hour since I recorded that last clip. Basically be just been uh, doing some chores around the house, so like hoovering, uh, doing the washing, all the boring stuff. But now I'm gonna do a bit of uh, home improvement. So basically, out here in our, in our utility area, we've got this, which looks really like cluttered. So Hannah wants to get rid of this. And also that bar sign. So we've got, so it's actually pretty cool. It's just like a bar sign that lights up, but when the lights off it looks better. I've probably put that on once since we've moved in. Um, we've been in for about two years now. Let's do this.
finished product. pre-workout meal as well so it's currently just gone one o'clock and I'm gonna be training again probably just after three so I need to get some food in me now we have got two uh, pitters with some ketchup fried egg and then some venison burgers obviously the venison burgers are really high in protein absolutely obsessed with these at the moment so we have a pack of that one apple for a little bit of health. So the macro breakdown in calories is 944 calories for that whole meal, uh, 64 protein, 102 carbs, so very high in carbs obviously, but I've got a couple hours to let that digest, and then 29 grams of fat, which isn't too bad, because obviously the eggs and the egg yolk, is probably about 10 grams of fat on itself, so those burgers are pretty lean. Gonna go and enjoy this now. Sit down and watch uh, some office. We are smashing through it for a second time, so gonna go down, chill for a bit, eat this, uh, and I'll pick up when I head to the gym. Good session, uh, decent bit of strength work on the bench and then moved on to just basically chasing the pump, uh, doing some hypertrophy work, supersets, all that good stuff. It's currently five past five and it is absolutely pitch black which is why I hate the winter. Uh, as you can see I've got the car light on so you can actually see my face. But I'm about to head home now, just picked up a proton shake from the gym. So the macros for that one is 185 calories, 12 grams of carbs, 4.6 grams of fat, and 24 protein. So, that will tie me over till I get home and get some tea, so let's go. Before I went to the gym, so before that session you just saw, I went and actually picked up a new laptop um, to upgrade the channel. So basically this was from a good friend of mine. Thank you very much, Ricky. Uh, he did a really good deal on this one. Uh, as it was like his old laptop and he's he's upgraded so absolutely buzzing to have that one my other one I've been using is literally like seven years old and I've actually spilt pre-workout in the keypad before so like the keys really sticky so hopefully this one should be a lot quicker it definitely has a lot more gigs so I can store more like footage and stuff on there in the next video i'm going to start using final cut pro i believe or final cut one of the two um they are offering a 90 day free trial at the moment uh, and i'm currently using imovie uh, which is nothing wrong with that it's great if you are a beginner yeah, as it's easy to use but i do want to start like improving my content uh, and obviously having a better software to edit on it should allow me to do more things on it. Uh, iMovie is pretty limited of what you can do, transitions and all that stuff. So 
that should be interesting. I'm gonna probably have to watch a few YouTube videos and tutorials to learn how to use that one, but we've got the new laptop now, so I've got no excuses. Time to go shower, and then I need some food. For tea, I have got 150 grams of chicken, seasoned with loads of different spices. Uh, I'm not having all of that, having half of that one. I'm also gonna have half of the Piri tilde rice and half of the sweet chili and lime rice. Half a bag of this mixed salad. I'm not gonna count that because it's barely any calories, so I will not be putting that into my fitness pal. Uh, we've got one whole pepper, one whole carrot, and then a handful of tomatoes, tiny bit of cucumber. I'm gonna have half of that. I did calculate that just because there are a slight amount of uh, carbs in these, but not many at all. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this over the top, so it's like a chili mayo, puri puri mayo. Calculated the oil, so I put about 10 milliliters of oil in there just because obviously I've cooked it in the pan. Uh, so that meal, which isn't gonna be my last meal, but obviously that's tea, comes to 779 calories, uh, 55 grams of protein, 82 carbs, and 25 <clears throat> so that meal was very very good highly recommend giving that one a go guys uh, even if you're not in like a calorie deficit diet I still feel like that was a very good meal to add to our weekly meal plan uh, and for under 800 calories it actually filled me up very well that is my tea it's just gone half past 6 25 minutes to 7 uh, Hannah's just popped out to drop her parents uh, into town so when she gets back we are actually gonna sit down and watch a film pretty sure we're gonna watch a th don't quote me on this but I think it's called like Papillion or something along those lines um, with Charlie Hummond or something like that Charlie Hummond maybe but I will give you a movie review uh, Movie review, Papillon. Pretty sure it's called that now, now I've watched it. Um, it was okay. Uh, I definitely wouldn't wa I definitely wouldn't rush to watch it again. Uh, I feel like when you see it once, you don't need to see it again, ever. Um, obviously it's based on a true story, which is pretty cool. Not cool for them, but you know, the movie was good. Um, I'll give it a 6.8, yeah. Maybe worth a watch. Not my cup of tea, but if you're into that sort of stuff. Anyway, it is currently quarter to 10, uh, and I still need to wrap my calories up for the day. So I'm gonna finish it off. Oh, actually, completely forgot to mention, and I actually ended up having about just under 100 grams more of that Tilda Rice, just because Hannah uh, couldn't eat it all, so didn't want to let it go to waste so I had about 375 grams of the rice in the end which is about 480 calories uh, so to finish my macros off today I've got one easy peeler satsuma and one banana uh, nothing too like filling before I go to bed as obviously I don't want to sleep on a full stomach so the total for today's calories were 2,922, so 202 protein, which I always aim for around 200 grams, which is good, uh, 345 carbs and 80 fat. So that is gonna wrap this video up. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. Uh, as always, if you are new, please subscribe. Uh, it will mean a lot to me. Um, obviously, I'm trying to get two videos out a week now. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of content for you guys to see. I'm going to get this food down me, go and watch a little bit more of The Office, and then I'm going to hit the sack. So I'll catch you in the next video.